Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little Bath & Body Works SAS haul. Um, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not too much. But before we talk about that, I have to talk about something that I'm totally obsessed with, which is this color changing lip oil. I did a video of it last week when I got it. Um, and on me, it's kind of like a fuchsia pink. Uh, I'm loving it. I've ordered another one and the next one I ordered actually was from Timu. So uh, if you don't know what Timu is, I think everybody does at this point, but it's a Chinese, um, I don't know, department store, we'll say like an online ordering department store and everything comes from China. So you have to wait like a week, two weeks to get it, but the prices are really good. But anyway, as I was perusing, um, they had the color changing lip oil. So this, mine I got from Amazon. I think it was $10.99. Um, and I don't know if it's the original version or not. I can't tell, I know it works, it still works. So if you don't know about it, it's a, it's a lip oil. It's not sticky or gluey or you know tacky like lip gloss can be. Uh, in some videos I've seen, it looks clear, but mine has like a pink sheen to it, and I've already chipped my nail. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, and so it, it goes on clear at first, but after very like a couple of seconds, it starts turning, reacting with your own body's pH, temperature, whatever. And I don't know if it's this color on everybody, but this is the color that's on me, and I like it. So you can tell though the doe foot has some pink on it and the top of the apple, the bottle does because it's touched my lips and then goes back in. So that's why it's there. But for instance, I am drinking iced tea and it doesn't show a color on the glass. So it's, I don't know what the magic is, but I'm loving it. Totally obsessed. I haven't worn any other lip gloss, any other lipstick since I got this and I'm loving it. So there you have it. And when I get the one from Timu, I'll probably do a little comparison video because, you know, $2.99 versus $10.99 is a big deal. Okay, that's enough about lips. And it's not, it's so comfortable. I'm just loving it. Anyway, so back to Bath & Body Works. So it is a SAS sale. And so in the box, I did get a bounce back coupon and I didn't think they were doing these anymore, but this is 10 off 40. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Um... I'm trying not to go back to the website anymore during SAS because there's nothing I need. I don't need any of this, none of it. Um, but lo and behold, here it is. So let's start with some body wash. And I got one, two, three, four, five body wash. Oh, I forgot to take the, the thing off this one. Da, 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 da. I do not like these crazy little plastic pieces of annoyance that they put on these things. Drives me wavy, just wavy. Oh, and I had lunch with Patricia Gates today. She lives about less, five minutes or less from me now. Super duper close. So that was really fun. We had um, little street tacos, but anyhow. Okay, so, um, and I don't know the prices of these whatsoever. I have no idea. Uh, the first one is Coastal Cliffs and scent notes are sparkling mineral water, seaside lavender, and white musk. So I don't know if this technic, oh, it is. I was about to say, I don't know if it's specifically for men, but it does say men's collection there. However, if I like it, oh, that's nice. Um, Jason just is old, so he likes his bar soap. And so I put these in his bathroom and it takes forever for him to go through one. He just prefers bar soap, so okay, that's fine. So anyway, I, there is two here I think that are like men's. Um, this one and, and another one. So, but that's okay, so, because if he doesn't, I'll, I'll use it, this is nice. It is very refreshing, it's clean. It's, I'm definitely getting the lavender in there. Sparking mineral water, seaside lavender. Yeah, um, it's nice. I probably would say it, I don't know, leans towards uh, more the more ma masculine side of things. Uh, that's, I guess, neither here nor there. Your, your, your choice is your choice, whatever you like. But anyway, this also says it's from the men's collection, and this is Canyon. 
And scent notes here are black pepper, desert sand, and crisp vetiver. I'm expecting this to be a little, a little more masculine, and it is. So that definitely will go in Jason's shower. We have fresh Amalfi lemon. And I was just intrigued because I like lemons. I was on the Amalfi Coast and ate lemons from the Amalfi Coast and it was amazing. Okay, this is uh, lemon leaves, chilled spearmint and cedarwood citrus. Oh, okay. So it's not straight up lemon. I do get a little bit of citrus, but I'm also getting uh, the cedar wood. Oh, that's very nice. It's very refreshing. So that might be the next one that goes in my shower. I also got Calypso Clementine. And this is um, Juicy Clementine. Oh, this one is written in almost the same color as the... As the package as the label. Let me get the little specks on here. Uh, Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. Neroli, is Neroli a jasmine family? It's definitely more floral than Clementine. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I might, I might exchange that one. I'm not digging that one. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll take, exchange that one and that one. And then finally for body wash, I got gingham. So I have not had, um, and I have something to go with it, the original gingham. I have the one in the green bottle, which I like. It's very kind of green and fresh. Um, I had the purple one, which had blackberry in it, and I dropped it in the toilet, um, I, in this, in this, um, so I wanted to get the original. Oh, that's nice. Um, oh, that's really nice. Uh, holy cannoli. Um, ooh, no scent notes, no scent notes. I don't know what the scent notes are, um, but it's nice. I definitely feel something like fresh air-ish, like if that makes any sense, maybe they're on here, no they're not. But anyway, I got the mini fragrance mist as well. I like the minis, I have several of the minis. It just takes so long to go through the big fragrance mist, so I'm whatever, I see something like in the minis, I grab it. Um, hmm. Uh, the fragrance mist doesn't smell exactly like the body wash. It definitely has that, you know, alcoholy fragrance note to it. But hope you know once it dries down, hopefully it'll be okay. The other ones I have are fine, so hopefully that will be as well. I only got three hand soaps because I did just purchase some hand soaps about a month or so ago. I did get one for Jason's bathroom. He loves anything patchouli, so I got the black oak and patchouli. And it does have scent notes on it. Um, spun sugar, golden amber, and blonde patchouli might be way out of my comfort zone. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, that's really nice. That would be really nice in a cologne, black oak and patchouli. Mm. So you get, you do get the patchouli, but it's not too sharp or spicy. It's kind of like a mellow patchouli. And what else is in there? Yeah, I don't really get that that kind of stinky, dirty amber note. I don't get that at all. But I think the spun sugar, although it's not reading really sweet, I think whatever the sugar is in there, it's really taming down the patchouli. is making it really, really nice. 
I, I'm gonna smell the bottle. That would be really nice in a cologne. That would be really nice in a cologne. So maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know, but if it's not, it should be. Uh, then I got Coconut Lime Verbena. And this is Zesty Lime, Lemon Verbena, and Coconut Water. Exactly what it said on the label. Hmm. 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 It's interesting. Um, I like coconut scents and I love citrus scents, so I should be loving this, but I'm not. It's smelling very artificial. Like, um, hmm, I'm not sure. No, no, no. I have enough soap that I love. I don't need to keep soap that I don't love. So I think I'm gonna exchange that one. And then, what is that? Something's leaking. And then another hand soap is raspberry and whipped vanilla. And I know uh, Canada Kim buys this all the time. Her husband Nelson loves anything with raspberries. So I thought I would give it a try. I get, I, I get the raspberries. Hang on, let me take a good sniff here. It's kind of like, it's raspberries, but it's not fresh, juicy raspberries. It's like raspberry candy, maybe. Um, but anyhow, we'll keep that. And um, what is leaking? Something is leaking. Okay, and then, of course, you can't uh, use the Bath & Body Work haul without getting some candles. So the first one, and Kim uh, messaged me in the morning, said, hey, uh, Twisted Peppermint is on there. She said, I know how much you like it, and I love it. I love, 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 love everything Twisted Peppermint. Um, I'm working on a large fragrance mist now. Yes, it's in the summer. I, I will use it all year round. And I have another full one in backup, so I did not order any uh, fragrance mist. And I think I have one Twisted Peppermint candle in my stash. I'll have to check on that. And maybe when I go back to make those exchanges, if they have another Twisted Peppermint, I might, I do might get, I might get another one. Packaging, of course, is super cute. Love it. And if you don't know already, Twisted Peppermint is, and I should know this off by heart because it's a favorite, um, Cool Peppermint Sugared Snow Fresh Balsam and Vanilla Buttercream. It is just, I, I could melt this, burn this every day of the year and I would be one happy camper. I just love it that much. Okay, and I believe the rest are new to me except one. This is, um, it must have been from a Mother's Day collection. It says, love you, mom. And it's pink, lilac, and vanilla. And scent notes are um, fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. So I was a little concerned because I'm not overly, you know, enthralled with florals. But um, I thought the dewy greens and the vanilla blossom might hopefully tame down the lilacs. But I do like love lilacs oh it's nice it is definitely lilacs it is definitely floral it's not over the top floral i do get a kind of a green note or a fresh note um to go along with it probably like as if you honestly as if you just brought fresh bunches of lilacs you just cut them off your tree and brought them in and they still have obviously the leaves on them Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised, actually. Um, this one, I have to say, I love the packaging on this one, and that might have influenced my decision. And this packaging is also pretty. Um, but I like dark, dark background and florals. So this is Sweet Peony, Warm Musk, and Golden Pear. So why they put amber in the scent, in the name, I don't know. Ooh. 
little fuzzy thing there. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's really nice, actually. It's not overly floral. It's, I don't get any pear. I get a light floral with the musk. And the musk is not that, you know, kind of like a dirty amber. You can get kind of a dirty musk too. It's not like that at all. It's really just giving it a warm, subtle floral, like tones down the floral. But I'm definitely glad I got that one. Blush, amber, and peony. Yep. Really, really good one. Then we have ginger and hinoki. I don't know what hinoki is. Um, there's somebody's signature on here, but I can't say who it is. Linda and Kenneth something or other. I created this, I guess these people. Um, uh, I created this fragrance to evoke a sense of balance and harmony, infusing the calm and warmth of hinoki with the fresh uplifting vitality of ginger from India. And I do love ginger. I don't, I should have looked up what hinoki is. Somebody can let me know. Oh, definitely ginger, definitely ginger. Definitely, and you get that, you know, that, that kind of sharpness of ginger. Ooh, that's really, really good. So Hinoki, is that like, is that a, like a light floral? I don't know. Fresh ginger, Hinoki wood and orange zest, okay. Blue verbena and lime, because I love all things lime. Um, and this is sugared lime, zesty verbena, and garden thyme. Oh, that's lovely. Very fresh, fresh, fresh. Oh, that's really, really nice. What do I have them open? Oh, that's really nice. I'm, all of them are good. And then finally, Paris Cafe. Love the packaging. Love the packaging. So I've had this before. Oh, wow. This, t this is just like straight up coffee to me. Coffee and cream. I think there's cream in the scent notes. Rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. Vanilla, vanilla cream. Yeah. This is so good, but I'm not gonna burn this. Um, my co my coffee um, stash of uh, wax melts is getting low, so I bought this intending I will chop this. Um, and so I have a video of how I um, melt candles. In this case, it's a it's an even sided vessel. So if I just pop this in the freezer for a couple hours turn it over on a tea towel, give it a couple clunks, and it will fall out. Then let it come to room temperature and you'll pull out the wicks then, and then you can chop it. If you try to pull the wicks out and chop it when it's frozen, it'll be a hot mess. So just wait, just be patient, wait till it comes back to room temperature, and then I will chop it up, put it in a polypropylene bag, and hopefully this is one of those labels that peel off easily, and I will just stick this right on the bag and Let's see. Anyway. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it is. It's one of those easy peel labels. So I will just finish peeling that off and put that right on the polypropylene bag. And what happened there? I lost my light. Oh, what happened there? Okay, well, I'm done. So that, that works out good. So that is my Bath & Body Works haul, um, not a big one. I do, I think I will exchange a couple of those um, body washes and one um, hand soap. I mean, I hate doing that, but if I don't care for it, I'm not gonna keep it, right? And so that's that. Um, so I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm going to do my empties video because I didn't do it last week. So I have two weeks worth of empties. So stay tuned for that. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. I'll see you soon. Bye.